Hi guys, I'm Sophia. Welcome to Feel Good. We are here in Brooklyn, New York with the fabulous Trinity of Gold. <laughs> okay, so Trinity, yeah. I want you to talk to me about gold. Yeah, Tell me yeah. about it. So we're a Brooklyn-based wellness company and we're really <laughs> centered around this idea of taking superfoods and making them easy, feel good, and approachable and fun. Oh, I love that. So you have more than one flavor, I do. right? So talk to me about what your favorites are. We launched with one product, which was the original turmeric tonic blend. That's which, my favorite. Yes. Yes. So we have the, um, so it's got turmeric, coconut, ginger, cinnamon, cardamom. It's so yummy, yes. which was a big factor in kind of how we were thinking about launching the brand and the products. We really yep. wanted these to be products that were easy to use, super delicious, and actually effective. We built something that doesn't have any sweeteners or yeah. you know anything funky in it. So <laughs> talk to me about overall benefits of turmeric. Yeah, so the incredible thing about turmeric is that really at the heart of it, it's very anti-inflammatory. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be incredible. It's seeking out the inflammation wherever it is in your body right. and dealing with it there. Attacking it. Yes. yes. So <laughs> for some people, that's their skin. If they're dealing with breakouts, redness, things like that. Other people, it's their digestion, gut health, if you're dealing with bloating. It's also incredible for uh, muscle recovery after yeah. a workout. Yeah. And it's really great for your immune system as well. Did you always want to have a business? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, tell me. Yes. I sure. thought at the time that the only way to do that was via going through the traditional path, going to med school. But I had exactly. no idea really that you could just go out and, and start a business about something you're passionate about. You definitely can. That's kind of like the special thing about like being in 2019. It's really about like finding your way and just mm -hmm. figuring it out because you can ultimately do anything. Yeah. So let's talk about your product. The original I like like all times of day. It's the OG. It's yeah. the OG, and it's also really <laughs> great because it's not just a beverage. Like, you really can. Yeah. It's very multi-use. It's very flexible. It's so cool to see people putting it, you know, on popcorn and, and you know, in other things. You can also put it in coffee, which is really yummy, especially yeah. the cacao, because yep. you get kind of like a mocha situation. Ooh. But I feel like you have some good recipes. Oh, I mean, there's plenty of uses. <laughs> I mean, my favorite way to, so I love the original. That's my favorite. But okay. my actual favorite use is savory, is recipe. Really? A falafel. I have been testing this falafel recipe. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite. We're, we're gonna make it. We're actually gonna make okay. it. It's gonna be so fun. So we're actually gonna do this without a food processor because I think it's really special for people to know that a lot of people think falafel, you've gotta have a food processor or a blender and like mm -hmm. all these tools. Yeah. You can literally do it with just a fork. So I'm gonna put this, this about, I'd say about a, a, like, a, like a can, what a okay. can of chickpeas would right. be. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm gonna actually manually smash these up. Okay. And you are gonna make a chia egg. Okay. So I am going to pass over the water and chia seeds. I'm gonna have you do one tablespoon of chia seeds. Okay. And three tablespoons of water inside this bowl. So we're not using eggs. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So we wanna make sure we create some kind of binding agent. Um, so I'm just giving this a quick stir? Yeah, you give it a quick stir and then mm -hmm. just let it hang out. Cool. You'll see like when we come back to it in about two minutes, yeah. it's gonna get really nice and thick. Yeah. So I'm gonna have you do just a pinch of cardamom, just like a little. Okay. Cardamom is obviously in gold, yes. especially the original. Yeah. So just a pinch of it. Go ahead and get in there okay. and just drop it right in as I'm All mixing right. it. Just throw Perfect. it in. Love it. And then the cumin, I'd say do a half a teaspoon. Okay. It's already it's getting nice so and good in here. I know, right? <laughs> it's already getting super nice and mashed up too. And then I'm gonna have you do a teaspoon of gold. Okay. Drop that right in. All right. And do you want like a level teaspoon? No, or? heaping. Okay. Get get it get it in there. Nice. More is more when yeah. it comes to gold. And so now I'm gonna have you come in. Mm -hmm. Just another thing that's gonna help us bind it is this is gluten free flour. Go ahead and put three tablespoons in. Alrighty. And I'm still mashing this up. It's at this point it's already pretty. Yeah, Pretty wow, flat. it was really right. fast. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And we are going to microplane in some jalapeno. Ooh. Now, you don't have to use jalapeno if you don't want to. And just microplane as much as you want. I like it. Yep. I'm gonna come in with a knife and I'm just gonna chop up this shallot. And I'm gonna help you out there with that microplane. Yes, yeah. watch. And so sometimes what I like to do mm -hmm. is whenever I've got like a base of something, <sighs> So just finding a like whatever solid, and then we'll whatever happens on sort of like the underneath, we'll make sure that we get it out. Just make sure we season on the back end. It's very important, and we'll taste as we go. Mm -hmm. We could be in a situation where we need more need more seasoning. So some pepper too. Okay, go for it. Some black pepper. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of baking powder. Hmm. 
I'm gonna toss that in too, and we're gonna keep mixing that in. And then I'm gonna come in, actually, I'll do this. Just like, get out of here. No, it's fine, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, let's check on that chia egg. How's yeah. that doing? Let's start, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. see, you see how it's getting, how oh. it thickens up like that? Yeah, so quickly. So go ahead, Trinity, and uh -huh. just drop it all in there. Wow. Just throw it in. Okay. It's crazy, right? Yeah. It really does like completely change in texture. I thought it would be more involved. And the longer it sits, the thicker it'll get. You'll see a lot of falafel recipes with lemon juice in them. Uh -huh. I'm totally down. That's delicious. Uh -huh. But I love the floraliness of mm. lemon zest. Yeah. I also think it's really, really pretty. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna do this whole lemon. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna get some herbs and I want you to cut them. Okay, so what we have here is we have parsley and we have cilantro. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna pull these herbs uh -huh. out, okay? But just go ahead and start rough chop. Sweet. And if you're doing this in a food processor, it's really important that you don't put the herbs in the food processor or your falafel's gonna be green. Oh, so you wanna right. chop the uh -huh. herbs up and add them last. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna switch places with you. Okay. I wanna have you taste this and tell me what you think it needs. Mm. Well, normally I wouldn't wanna like to super like, you know, macerate herbs, especially. Yeah. They'll start to get kind of gummy and mm -hmm. muddy. But we do wanna make sure that the gold is really coming through. Yeah, for sure. What do you think? More really salt? Yummy. I would add a little more salt. Okay, let's do it. Get in there. Get in there. This is intuitive cooking. <laughs> We're doing it. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Let's see. The lemon is really coming through. It's crazy, though. right? It's so nice. I know, I love it. Okay, so now we're just gonna be a boop, yeah. stir it up. Okay. Stir it up, sister. Love it. So I'll come in and grab. And you can measure if you really okay. wanted to do a hard measurement. A tablespoon, right. right? You could use a tablespoon measure if you really wanted things to be perfect. Uh-huh. I'm okay with things being a little like imperfect. I think that's actually very sweet. Mm -hmm. um, and kind of how I like eating my food. But you see how uh. having wet fingers is gonna help you form these things and have it not uh. stick. And you can bake these. You can do them in the oven, mm. um, which is really great. But yeah. I like stove top. We're using grapeseed oil. Okay. I'd say about a fourth a cup to a third of a cup okay. if you're doing it this way. Okay. If you're using it in the oven, no oil at all. Okay, right. So you're just baking it, okay. which is really great. While we're letting this heat up, you do want to make sure your oil is coming to heat. The worst thing you can do is put anything in cold oil. So I mm -hmm. always tell people that. So make sure that your oil is super hot. Okay. Um, it should take some time to brown. I'd say yeah. about. 60 seconds each side. If it's browning way too fast, it's not gonna cook in the center, and obviously we mm. don't want that. Right. So I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna give you a new plate. Okay. Do -do -do. Thanks. And I'm gonna come in here and drop some of these babies. <laughs> so how long do they take to cook? It's about two to four minutes, but it all depends on what heating source you're dealing with. Okay. But you're looking for like a really, you're looking for like a really good, like golden brown situation. Yep. Obviously, I'm actually gonna show you, see? Ooh. But you see how they're like holding together really nice? Yep. All right, my dear. So we're bringing these over. Oh, they look beautiful. Oh, yeah, they're still kind of cooking right now. Obviously. <laughs> but we're gonna pull them off. But you see this nice and pretty golden color. Don't recommend touching them this hot with your bare hands. <laughs> I've done this a few times before, so. If you wanted to let them sit on a paper towel or um, a rag to drain, you mm -hmm. totally could. And I'm gonna actually throw some herbs in the salad because an herby salad is my favorite type of situation. Yes. What would be perfect here is just a drizzle of olive oil and some lemon. And you wanna squeeze the lemon up so that you don't get the seeds in it. Ah, yeah. there's the chef's So tip. if you wanna do that, or you can squeeze it over your hand. Right. So you can catch. catch them. So they'll fall right through your hand. Got it. You have to season your salad. People think it's silly, but you wanna make sure that you season. <laughs> we are just gonna munch, 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 munch. Ooh. All right, yeah. that's it. You can get in there with the fork, but you want to get a little salad yeah, in there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh my god, I missed my mouth. <laughs> well, it's yummy. It's yummy, right? <laughs> it's so good. Isn't it so good? <laughs> I told you. The gold is coming through in a really nice, balanced way. Which Isn't is it nice? Cool, because I haven't done a lot of savory stuff with it before, but it does so well. I'm telling you, even with the little lemon, yep. it brightens it up. Mm -hmm. It really brings it out, yeah. which I love. Very good. Isn't it good? Great job, man. Yeah. You killed it. Oh, please. Oh, <laughs> you. <laughs>